As of today, I've catalogued um, 1,542 objects, and we also have um, archives and files on top of that. So the things I've been cataloging are medical equipment, um, photographs, training aids, the vehicles, uniforms. This is one of the bizarrest pieces I think that I found that's of interest to me. It's called a fog master and it was used to decontaminate ambulances. So you put um, chemicals, disinfectant and water and it would heat up and literally fog out the ambulance. You'd shut the ambulance up, connect power to it and I guess hopefully you got the mix of chemicals right and you would kill off any infection in the ambulance. The resuscitation equipment is incredibly interesting. Just the sheer weight of some of that old equipment is extraordinary. And, and the crudeness of it as well. We've got another item called the Thumper and it was an automated um, CPR machine. And it, and it used to just use compressed air and it used to pound the chest of patients in the very first MICA ambulance. We've certainly got the Aurora train disaster, which was something which occurred in 1969. It was a shocking train crash. Uh, and we've got the, um, the log of the incident log for that event. The ambulance service in Victoria has got a very long history, well over 100 years. Um, it's a history that the service itself and also Victorians can be very proud of. And having um, the collection documented is a way that both ambulance members and also members of the public can actually access the collection and also just the evolution of the ambulance service itself. It's really important to honour those past and present members of the service.